shit, need something to eat. Where's the next berry bush? Um, uh, bush. Shoot. That's right, in this video I am going to reveal every location of all berry bushes, burrows and corpses. Eh, uh, carcasses if you wish. No kidding, I literally flew across the entire map counting every location and marking them one by one. The markings are pretty simple. Red dots means carcasses, yellow means burrows and green means berry bushes. If this video is a bit too fast for you to memorize every location, then just wait until the end of the video and I will tell you how you can save the map on your devices. Now without further ado, let's head to Rainbow Hills. Rainbow Hills offer your berry bush here alongside a burrow. There's also a burrow over here and a bush over there. Rockwell Hills offer burrows and bush up north and more burrows going down southwest. The mudflats don't really offer anything, but the half island just south offer about everything. We also got two bushes right by one of the healing palm. Hunter Ticket got about everything except carcass. We got previous mentioned bushes, south to burrow and bush, more food over there and some over here, and some by over by snake gully. Savannah Grassland is just a half island vending machine, with burrow all over the place and one carcass and one bush. The hot springs don't really offer anything about food, but we got a burrow close by and some down south, even one west. If we go east, we get the model load with two bushes and one carcass. All food in burn forests are probably burned with the exception of one bush and one burrow. Ocean pillars don't got really anything by the coast, but we got some burrows a bit inland. Sharptooth Mash surprises everyone with some burrows, a bush on the island, and even a carcass down south. Hudo Expanse offer not one but two carcasses. A handful of burrows, but no bushes. So flats aren't any better. Worse, actually. But it got some burrows and salt stones, but I don't really recommend eating that. Also, there's nothing really up north. Green Hill surprises no one with the amount of food it gives considering all the greenness. We got some burrows around and a carcass down south. Before Whitecliff, we got the island, which surprisingly offered two berry bushes. The rest of Whitecliff offer about everything except carcasses. Impact Crater offers about one of everything and uh, to the forest to the east we got two more burrows and one berry bush. Wilderness Peak don't got really anything but the neighbor Trident Fall got everything. A few burrows and bushes over here and there and a carcass. Grand Plain got about everything except a carcass, a few burrows here and there and some bushes. Titan's Pass pretty much the same as Green Hills minus the carcass. Dark Forest doesn't really have anything up north, but when you travel down south you will see plenty of bushes and burrows. And even a corpse. Big Killing Juvies don't really got any bushes, but it got a lot of burrows and a corpse. Stego Mountain only got a few burrows and a corpse, which pales in comparison to the neighboring Rippling Beach. Rippling Beach offers pretty much everything and even has two corpses. Green Valley and Broken Tooth Canyon are no slackers when it comes to food. Offering plenty of burrows, bushes, and carcasses. Dry lake burrows and even the carcass are around the dried lake. Also, up north you see what I left over by the green hill. Whistling Hollow offer about everything from corpses, bushes, and burrows. As you can see, there are plenty of bushes and burrows going around so you won't really starve. Young Grove is so nice offering some bushes, some burrows, and even a corpse. Red Island offer really nothing except a corpse in the north and one in the south. One thing to note is that the map is still updating. This area right here doesn't look like this at all anymore. It looks more like this. I think this is called Sandy Cave or something and I scattered the area. There are no bushes, burrows or any carcasses here. Keynote, any future updates may change the number of food sources or end locations. Also, you probably saw that I didn't include salt stone in this food source. That's because I don't see salt stones as a reliable food source. Also, while flying around learning every possible locations and whatnot, I thought maybe I should make a video about every quest item's location. But then I considered and I thought, you. If you want this me to do it, then you, I don't know, make this video explode or something. I don't know. As for the locations on the map, I will be posting the map on my social media, the full map and the location ones. Just follow the link down in the description and you can either screenshot it or save it on your device. And with that I got nothing more to share so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!